Hi, this is Ash Whitener. And this is Justin Blinko. And welcome to Liberty Entrepreneur's Podcast, where we explore how to build freedom through the entrepreneurial process. Our goal is to provide you with the tools and mindset needed to create your lifestyle of independence and flexibility. On January 21st and 22nd, we attended the North American Bitcoin Conference. We left with a number of amazing interviews, and we're excited to share one of them with you today. Please help us out by following us on Twitter at Liberty E Podcast and Facebook slash Liberty Entrepreneurs. Also, it would be great if you could subscribe and rate us on iTunes. There'll be a link in the show notes and on our website. We're here with Jason King, best known as the founder of Sean's Outpost and Satoshi Forest for feeding tens of thousands of meals to the homeless, all paid through cryptocurrency. What up? What up, Jason? Thanks hey. for coming back on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it. Round two, uh, better than round one. Yeah, look, looking good, looking good. All right, all audio levels are looking great. Jason, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, man, that's such a loaded question. <laughs> all right, all right, more, 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 all right, more specifically. You've got a new project out called I, I called do. Unsung. I do. Tell us about Unsung. Yeah, so I basically spent the last um, year um, building this app called Unsung, and essentially what it is is it's Uber for feeding the homeless. And uh, what we try to do is we try to take all of uh, the lessons learned from Sean's Outpost and like you know feeding 163,000 meals to people, and figured out sort of how we could take that process and streamline it and put it into an app. And um, you know, in the United States, we have 530 billion dollars in food waste annually, and we have 49 million people living in hunger. And so it's like it's like the stupidest problem that you could ever have. Um, and so what we did is we just built an app where if you're a restaurant and you have extra food or something like that, that you can just come on, tell us what you have. Um, volunteers on our on our platform can just go pick it up and take it to the to the people that are hungry. Um, and it's really that simple. It's a, it's kind of a basic concept. Everyone's like, oh, that's why. Why hasn't someone done that before? Right. So it sounds. It sounds like an easy problem. It sounds like a problem that everybody has experienced at least at some point in their life. You know, the fact of just being hungry. Yeah, and then so we've just made it super simple, and um, you know, anyone can come in, and, and very similar to how like an Uber driver can just choose their own hours and like, hey, I've got some time to do this. Um, we've taken away the friction of, of volunteering. You can just, you volunteer when you want to. You go on the platform at any time. And during that t- the time period, if food becomes available, you can go pick it up and you can go feed homeless people with it. Or you can take it to a homeless shelter or to a soup kitchen or something like that. And, uh, you know, we've, we've taken this huge problem where breaking down into minuscule tasks. Um, and uh, every, every f- meal that's fed on our app um, is broadcast on a live feed, so they actually like are taking a picture and it's like geotagging their location of where the meal's being dropped off. So instead of like taking somebody's word that they're doing good good work, oh, right. we've actually created this transparency. We're actually creating a trail of it, so you can actually see the work being done in your neighborhood in real time. So it gives it more of that almost instant gratification of like, hey, I've, I'm a restaurant owner. I've got you know, I'm going to throw away all this spaghetti anyways, and I might as well put it up on Unsung so somebody can come and pick it up, and then I see where it goes. Yeah, so I mean, like the best example I have of this is like two weeks ago. You know, we get we got uh, a chef that works with us a lot. A chef like put in, it's like, hey, I have these meals. We went to pick it up, and it turns out that the food we were picking up was the food that was left over from this wedding reception. And the bride and the groom were there, and they had they were like really concerned. They're like, oh, there's all this food left over. What are we gonna do? And the chef's like, oh, I've got it. You know, we're just, you know we're gonna go to Unsung, and they're gonna come take care of it. I got a guy. I got a guy. <laughs> um, and we did. We picked this food up and like within 30 minutes, like we had had it all passed out. And then like they're seeing all of the f- pictures and right. they're saying this is like the food from their wedding. Right? right. And they see it like out feeding hungry people. And it's just it's very powerful, you know. And uh, and like it's just, and that just sort of captures what what Unsung is and like like sort of the powerful and the, vi- uh, the, the power and the virality that can happen um, through through our platform. Yeah, I, I really love this project because, you know, on Liberty Entrepreneurs, we talk to a lot of entrepreneurs about what pains in society or what problems they're trying to solve. At, at our very essence, an entrepreneur is looking into society, finding a pain point or a problem that somebody or some group of people have and trying to offer them a solution to that. Yours is very simple. It's hunger, right? It's, it, it's everywhere. And like you said, we have a ton of resources being wasted and not being put to productive use by hungry people eating them. This is a serious problem. And you're right, one that seems so easy once once you start thinking about it. Yeah, and so like at Sean's Outpost, you know, we fed 163,000 plus meals there um, over the last couple of years. And we did it in a very efficient, very cost-effective manner, like much much more so than our contemporaries. 
but at the same time, we would go to the food bank to purchase like, you know, 300 pounds of food and we would be buying 300 pounds of food and 5,000 pounds of food was being thrown in the dumpster next to it. And it was just, it was infuriating, you know, like you just see that you see hungry people. And then we would get to the, like, we would hand out all of the food that we had and there would still be people there to feed. And, you know, we wouldn't have any food, but we would know that there were dumpsters and dumpsters and dumpsters full of food. And so we're like, someone's got to do something about this. So tell me more about the, the, the name unsung. Does that have any deeper meaning? Well, yeah, you know, I think that it's just that, um, you know, we think about a hero as being like Superman, you know, as like flying around and like doing something extraordinary where it's truly most heroes are unsung heroes. They're the people that just do the good work because they want to do the good work and they don't really want a lot of credit for it. They just want to do something. And it's like all of these, these small little moments of good that add, add up to just extraordinarily wonderful things in the world. Jason, you've fed 160,000 plus meals to homeless. For someone who hasn't fed a meal to a homeless person before, what advice would you give of how to start, how to go about it? Um, so, you know, a lot of people just are like, well, how can I get involved? I want to I wanna start feeding people. And it's like super simple. Just go to your house. Everybody's got something in the back of their cabinet they're not going to eat. Like, you know, I, I bought this soup. I thought it was going to be a good idea. It's not a good idea. Just make it. Make a sandwich. Make something. And just go out. Just see someone that seems homeless and just ask them if they're hungry. It's just that simple. You know, don't be like, take this food, you know, but like, it's like, Hey, are you hungry? I have this sandwich. And you're just, you're going to be amazed at how simple it is and just how rewarding it is because like, um, so Stephen Dak, the, the lead dev at unsung had, had, you know, built this, this wonderful program and he's just an amazing guy, but he never actually fed any homeless people. And we went out here in Miami beach feeding, you know, day before yesterday and um, and he was really amazed because a lot of people have this thing. It's like, well, you can't give people food because they really just want money and they want money to go buy booze or some stupid shit like that. But there were people that were like literally ripping the package open because they were so hungry. And like it was really like this was a lifeline. Like they were just sitting here and you could just tell they were just like, how am I going to get some food? And then we gave them a box with a sandwich in it and they're just tearing into it. Just so unbelievably happy. And like do that a couple of times and see how it makes you feel really. And then, you know, and then you'll just want to do it more. You'll want to help more and you'll, you'll see how easy it is to do it. There are a lot of people that have a little bit of a precarious life going from meal to meal to actually survive in in the U S and until I learned some of the stats that you've researched to figure out how big this problem is, I, I didn't realize how many people that are living around us are really looking hard for that next meal. Yeah, for sure. And so, and what a lot of people don't realize is that even though, Giving someone a sandwich isn't going to solve homelessness, right? Um, but the things that you need to do, like, you know, maybe job training or education or, or, you know, filling out paperwork, anything, the things that you're going to need to do, you can't do when you're hungry. You can't learn when you're hungry. You can't absorb new knowledge. You can't really function if you're hungry. So if you don't take care of that basic need of, like, making sure that people have enough nutrition, then nothing else matters. It was ridiculous as we have a hundred years of research on this, right? Like if you think about like childhood education, like we know for a fact that nutrition and cognition are completely related. If you do not eat breakfast before you go to school, your performance in school is going to suck. Everyone knows that, but somehow that magically disappears, right? When we're talking about homeless people, Oh, you know, like there's all this other stuff, but, um, and so it's simple. Like we just take food that would otherwise be thrown away and we just convert it into meals. And so like, so that people can have this basic level of nutrition we're all forced to pay taxes. And I think a lot of people offload some of their responsibility or what they would like to do because they think, oh, I'm paying taxes. You know, I bet part of my taxes are are going to these causes that I tell myself are important. You know, with you, you're almost competing against this. You know, you're, you're not a charity. You're a, you're a nonprofit, but what you're doing is is a charitable cause, right? You're going around and you're finding food that's not being eaten and it's going to be thrown away and you're putting it to people that actually need it like literally helping them put it in their mouths right you're giving them food this isn't some abstract idea that you hope is happening or that the people using the unsung app whenever it comes publicly available you know that this isn't an idea of something that's getting better this is real life people doing what they say and doing it because they think that it's it's a a mutually beneficial relationship it's just so much different than you know assuming that the government's going to take care of people yeah i mean uh, that's a great point because it's really like this sort of double whammy on the tax thing because a lot of people you know 
people care. Like, you know, people get a bad rep, but people really do care. But most people really do feel like that their taxes are being used for these sort of things. And they just don't realize that they're not. So one, they think that their tax money is being used for this and it's not. And, but because of that, they're sort of indignant towards helping other causes. A lot of people can be, cause they're like, it's kind of like I gave it the office. I gave it the office, you know, cause I got taxed, I got taxed, I got taxed, but that tax money is not ending up helping these people. Right. And a lot of, a lot of times that tax money is actually being used to hurt these kind of people, yeah. you know? So we look at ourselves as like triage, right? Like we're not solving, we're not solving a grandiose problem. We're trying to stabilize so that these people actually have a chance of you know, getting better of taking advantage of some other programs. It's just super simple. It's like solving hunger is not, it's not a complex issue. You know, we can try to make it one, but it's really simple. If someone needs food, you give them food and then the the issue of hunger is over. Especially if that food was just going to get thrown away. And I mean, and you should care about that because like, you know, it's like this altruistic thing, right? But like it, think about it selfishly. It's like, if you're a small business owner, that was a liability. That was food that you were going to throw in a dumpster. You're going to have to pay somebody to cart off. Right. And now it's being converted into this meal that, Hey, by the way, it's tax deductible because unsung as a 501c3 you've now created something that was a liability turned it into an asset and in the meantime someone that was hungry is not hungry anymore so i mean it's like a win across the board and that's another thing that we do is we'll actually calculate the tax deductible value of the food that you donate so years in comes and uh and we'll hit you up with that detailed description of of how how big your tax deduction is and you can write that off of your taxes yeah so feel free everyone listening to donate uh shrimp and caviar and write it off on your taxes yeah there you go for people listening that are getting interested in this and want to drive and, and deliver meals or they've made a couple extra sandwiches or they work at a restaurant and want to tell the owner of, of this way to reduce costs on, on trash and, and waste and get this right off, how soon can we expect the app to be working and, and released to the public? Um, so it's, it works now and we're live in Baltimore. Baltimore has been our sandboxing uh, place. You know, we spent a whole lot of time like getting the UX, just the user experience, the user interface really right on this because in any app, we live on our phones now. I mean, like you might not want to admit it, but like everybody's life is, revolves around their phone. So if you have an app and you try to use it and it doesn't work right, you don't ever use it again or you don't, you know, it just goes to the back. So Unsung works really well. It's really buttery smooth. Like all of the transitions are beautiful. It's a, it's a, it's a very, very good app. Um, and so we spend a lot of time in Baltimore getting that right. And once we probably have another month or two of, of testing in Baltimore, and then we'll probably roll out to another four or five cities by March. And if you want to be one of those cities or you, you, know, you have a, a good compelling reason why we should go to your area, um, go to unsung.org and just write us. You, know, just like there's a, you can just connect with us directly there um, through a web form and talk to us about that because we would love to hear from you. We'd love to hear you know, about people that would like to bring this kind of stuff to, the, to their city. And I hope a lot of people do contact you because this is just so great. I love your Twitter hashtag, uh, Hack Hunger. Hack Hunger. Yeah, that's what we're doing, man. Yeah. So, Jason, tell people how they can get involved or how they can contact you and how we can actually start making a difference here. Sure. Um, well, the website is unsung.org. So, U N S U N G.org. Um, and I'm Jason at unsung.org. Um, and there's, like I said, there's a web form there and a uh, unsung org on Twitter and unsung org on Instagram. Yeah, any of those ways will get back to us. And let's save that food. Save that food. Dun, 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 save that food. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jason, for coming on the show. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it.